Hi there, it's Mrs. Oppy. I just have a couple pro tips I want to show you in Google Drive. In the other videos, we've talked about the menu, the folders, searching for untitled, cleaning up your classroom files. Now we're going to talk about all the other things, or at least a couple of them. So one thing I want to talk to you about is naming files. In another video, we talked about that search up at the top of the Google Drive window. Search is a super helpful way to find things, but it's only as helpful as the name you give your files. So if you name your files really clearly, you can search for them really easily. That might include adding um, a year. It might include um, adding a subject, I don't know, you decide. What you want to ask yourself is, if I were looking for this, what would I call it? And then put those keywords in. A file name does not have to be beautiful. It can be a list of keywords that kind of describe the file. It doesn't have to be fancy. That would be the title on your page, all right? So pay attention to how you're naming your files. Now, you don't have to go back and rename all your files from before, but start now. Think about a good naming convention. If every file that's for Math Unit 5, you put Math U5 at the end of it, then when you're looking for files next year for Unit 5, you can just type into search Math U5 and find all of them and look for what you're looking for. Now, you don't want to give that the only name to your file. You're going to have other descriptors too, but if that's at the end, makes it really easy to search for it. Another tip has to do with moving a file while you're in the file. Sometimes we think organization is separate from file creation, but it's not. And I'm going to show you a couple things. Look at this icon. You can star a file right from the top of the file. And then look at this one. You can move it right from the top of the file. So if you're in the file, you're making it, click on that little folder. It's going to give you the navigation so you can put it into the file from the file. You don't have to go back to your drive. Let's say you're looking at a file that's shared with you. You might see an icon that looks like this. It has a little Google Drive with a plus. When you click there, it's going to add it to your drive. So if I'm in a meeting and someone shared a file with me and I'm thinking I'm going to need this later, it might be hard to find in the shared with me. But I can click that little drive icon. It's going to add a shortcut to my drive. And then I'm going to see the folder so I can move it. So if you think of organization while you have a file open, go, oh, I'm going to want this later. Add to drive, move it to the right folder. All right. Those are two things that should help you as you're working forward. Now, the idea for organizing isn't necessarily to go back. It's to start with the system now and use it forward. Because remember, in another video I shared, 85% of the files that you create, you never go back to. Hope that helps you get your Google Drive organized. Remember, it's something you always work on. It's not something you will ever finish. Have fun.